What's up guys, Gary with self -taught Dev. Today we are going to do another LinkedIn assessment. They've been pumping out quizzes lately. They have got all sorts of different stuff now. They even have a, an HTML quiz, which we're about to try. And it's gonna be really disappointing if I fail because um, I've been a developer for like 10 months now? Eight months, nine months, one of those, one of those numbers. So let's get to it. All right, when should you use the aside element? For anything in the sidebar? No. For anything in for anything in parentheses? No. When the content can be removed without? Yes, that's it. For anything you want to move to the side like a pull quote? That's all, also incorrect. So it's this one right here. All right, number two. How do you confirm that a document is written in HTML5? It'll have a doc type HTML tag at the top is one, but let's make sure that's not the only right answer. The server wraps the web page in an HTML5 wrapper. Does it do that? I know it wraps it in an HTML tag, but does it say HTML5? No, it's just HTML. Okay. Um, so I think it's this one. Use the doc type HTML declaration that starts the document. That tells the browser that this is an HTML document. The browser receives encoding from the server to display the document in with HTML5. All right, I'm pretty confident it's this one. It is enclosed in a HTML tag. None of those specifically tell you it's HTML5. I mean, it could be HTML4 and have any of these, I think. I don't know a lot about HTML4, actually. It could. I'm gonna go with doc type. I don't feel like that's right, actually. I feel like I read something that said doc type is an HTML5 thing. No, I'm overthinking this. It's this one. All right, number three. In HTML, which tag or tags embed the web page inside of a web page? Iframes. I've never seen frame or frame set. Are those a thing? A frame tag uses is used to divide the web browser window into multiple windows, multiple sessions. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, well, oh, never mind. That's not. I thought that was something else. I thought it meant like you have two different tabs, but never mind. Uh, each frame is indicated by the frame tag. Okay, no. So I'm gonna go with iframe. Let me just double check and make sure frame set's not eight either, because I haven't seen a frame set tag before. Uh, what does this do? Not supported in HTML5. All right, so we're gonna go with this one, iframe. Where do header and footer tags typically occur? Okay, I hit start, cool. I was worried I didn't hit start on the video for a sec. Um, header and footer tags typically occur as children of the body? No, well, yeah, kind of, get, yeah. I was thinking of a head tag, and that'd be above the body. As children of the body, article, and section tags. I'm probably gonna get this one wrong. Body, article, table. Does table have a footer tag in it, usually? I don't work with tables too much, so I'm not sure. Nav, that's not right, because it's header and footer aren't a child of nav. Article, aside, section, how's that different from this one? Body, article, table. Let's see here. HTML, do tables have footer? I'm pretty sure they do. Um, I mean, there's a T foot. Does that count? Header, footer, body. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna assume. I, I, I'm guessing this is it. How much time? I got 24 seconds. Let's see. Mm, nah, I don't think it's right. I think it's this one, because T table doesn't have a footer tag specifically. It's got a T foot tag. So I'm thinking it's this one, because that's got all the same stuff. Okay, let's see what that. Um, what does the code shown below accomplish? Picture, source. Cersei set image. Okay, so it's basically displaying like different images based on the media query. It displays image one at a thousand pixels or higher. It displays image one at a thousand pixels or higher. It displays image one at a thousand pixels and higher. It displays image one, two, three, three, three. Okay, so that's not right. Uh, so we know it's one of these three right here. Uh, what's the second part? Image two at. Ah, I can never get min width and max width right. Max width, okay, so max width is if it's smaller. I always have to like double check those. Why did I need to know that again? Okay, so so it's one of these two. Ah, oh, man, we have three seconds. We're gonna go with this one. Oh, I feel like it's C, dang it. All right, cool. But what code will produce the table shown below? Who uses tables anymore? Come on, LinkedIn. Let's see, so table, scope, is that a thing? Why don't you ask about modern HTML stuff? What are you doing? Come on. Is there not a columns tag? There's not a column tag, so that's not real. Uh, we got 41 seconds. So let's see if there's a group tag, huh? Field set tag, so I don't see a group tag here anywhere. Uh, what about call group? All right, that's a real tag. Uh, we have 21 seconds, so if scope isn't a real tag, I'm gonna go with B. 
Okay, so that's not a real tag, so I'm thinking it's B, because that's the only one that's got a real tag right there. What is the HR tag typically used for? The tag is depreciated and should not be used. Is it depreciated? I don't think it is. I hope not, I've used it recently. Uh, nope, nothing about depreciate, not supported in HTML5. Okay, that's not the right thing. But yeah, no, nothing about it being depreciated, so I think we're good here. Um, it designates a topic shift within a section at the paragraph level. It draws a horizontal line. It designates a shift in topic. It's one of these two. Thematic change in the content. It's used between P tags right here. So a shift in topic. Okay, I was gonna say horizontal line. So that's within a section at the paragraph level. So this is within a section at the paragraph level. So I think we're gonna go with that. What is not a valid attribute for text area? Form, that's not a valid attribute, is it? It's like usually wrapped in a form tag, but read only, spell check, max. Okay, well. Okay, form's real, cool. Uh, read only, max and spell check. There's a max length. I don't see a spell check either though, so. Is spell check a text area at reboot? Okay, cool, so it's max. Okay. What should fill the two blanks in the HTML code below? Item scope. What? What is item scope? I feel like I know what that is, but hold on. Item prop equals, dude, what is item scope? I don't think I've ever used that before either. This is like if you've been a developer since the 90s or whenever HTML4 and 3. Okay, item prop. What's, what's this look like again? So we got item scope and then two blanks. Item scope, item scope, item scope, item scope. I don't see it. Item scope, item type. So there's item type, one of these. I feel like it's this one, because that's got the two words that I've seen the most here. Item type, item scope, and item prop. I haven't seen any of the other ones here. Structured data, okay, so item scope, that's what we got first, right? Item scope, and then item prop, and then item type, anywhere? All right, we're gonna go with this one then. Which HTML snippet leads, oh, links back to the very top of the web page? ID top. Place the top of the page, href, top, back to the top. Yeah, so it's that one. Let's just read through the other ones just to make sure though. Name, nope. href on both, nope. Buttons, nope. And the, they're, they're hrefs, so that doesn't work either. So it's A. Um, what should fill the two blanks in the HTML code below? Address, there's an address tag. Noth I've learned on Team Treehouse, Free Code Camp, Frontend Masters, Code Academy. And there are tags that I've never seen before. I don't understand. Address. When would you use item scope? What the, what is that even for? Defines the scope of an associated metadata. Okay, so let's just look at address tag. Okay, nothing helpful there. How much time we got left? 41 seconds, cool, so. See, none of, nothing talks about what you put in an address tag. This isn't a real thing. I think address tags don't have attributes. So we're gonna go with C. Wait, there's two blanks. Ah, dang it. I didn't even answer. Oh, I guess I, I hope it saved that answer. Uh, what three tags would appreciate in, H, in HTML4 but return to HTML5? I don't know HTML3, so I'm not sure what was alive then. Wait, but can we like inspect this and then copy it? Let's go back to responses so we're full. Because that's gotta be in there as HTML, right? <gasps> oh my gosh. Come on, there we highlight this stuff. I'm gonna do it on this screen so you guys can see. We're copying those three. Oh, nope. So if you open the inspector, you can copy like this. And then we can go over here and we can paste that. And we can Google these tags and see if these are depreciated. So markup Ruby. And the East Asian languages. Are you really asking? I'm gonna go with these because this isn't saying anything about depreciation on these. So we're gonna go with A because we have 25 seconds left. The blank tag is used for marking up a short code snippet, while the blank tag is used for marking up a longer block of code. All right, KDB, is that a real tag? Keyboard input, all right, so is a phrase tag, it defines keyboard input, cool. So, and then what is, so it's not that one, so we're just gonna go look at the, what does a code tag do? Obviously, I think you put code in that, right? I was reading too much into this. Defines a piece of code. Um, doesn't say whether it's short or not. Come on, W3. I don't use you for much. This is why. Uh, we're gonna go with this one. 
What should the blank in the HTML code below be filled with? Oh, what should fill the blank in the HTML code below? A href, href lang. Should it be Spanish? Like what if, what if I'm in Mexico or Spain? Let's see here. Ian, US. So it kind of depends on like what, what language they want there, huh? Well, this one's two letters on both of them. And A is two letters on both. And all of these are two letters on both. So I'm gonna go with A. All right, the value attribute is associated with which set of tags? This one. Wait, I've seen it used on label. This one. Whoa, I passed. Above the 70th percentile. It doesn't show you how many you missed anymore. Oh, that's lame. I'm sure I missed a lot. I'm sure I barely passed, but probably like one one question or something like that. Sweating a little bit because I turned my AC up to 80 during the day to save energy because I'm gone for like 12 hours. And then I slowly turn it down when I get back home. But we passed, so yeah. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully they're not about the tags I knew nothing about. Um, I do resume reviews, so if you want your resume reviewed, my email is in the description. Feel free to shoot me a, a, a drop me a line. And we've also got a Discord. If you wanna come hang out in the Discord, um, talk tech. We do a monthly project, so there's a free project if you wanna come do it. Um, I'm not gonna show it because you have to join the Discord to see it. But there's a link to Discord in there as well. Make sure you subscribe so you get all the additional videos that come out on self.dev. And I will see you next time. Peace. Round one.